that's a lot of lasers. Or bridges, I mean. You need a laser. And 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 I just trapped myself. <laughs> oh, I didn't jump. We have a blue and a green. Ah, they have to combine there. Okay. Oh, you're a splitter. That's useful. All right, that's three of them right there. You're also a splitter. So get, get both of these, I guess. Ta-da! An astonishingly easy level to the point of, of almost pointlessness. <laughs> Hello, glow room. What is happening in here? It's very glowy in here. Would you like every color? I thought you would like every color. So the room gradients from blue to orange with purple in the middle and every button you step on becomes green. It's a very colorful room. Three-way split. One, uh, one, two, three. Okay. But why? Oh, this is gonna mess with me seeing beams like that. Where I'll think I'll think that there's something I'm supposed to use. Where do you go? Way the hell over here. I guess it's another red versus blue path choice. What did I pick last time? I, I could be consistent if for no other reason than my own memory. Uh, I like blue is what I did last time. But what is the puzzle? Exactly. Oh. Boop, boop. I should have really memorized or written that down more. Because <sighs> I immediately forgot even the one I was trying to do. <laughs> so one, one. Okay, so... One, four, one, two, five, three. One, four, one, uh, two, two, five, three. Oh, that's the wrong button. I might have to do a second playthrough where I do the red rooms or something. I don't know. Ta-da! King of the blue for some reason. Security advice number three. Please watch out for falling cubes. According to other testers, getting hit by a falling cube can be very painful. Therefore, getting hit by a falling cube is not recommended. Were those there last time? I don't remember. I don't remember if Rethink uh, Rethink 1 and 2 had spaceships in it. Not spaceships, uh, hover cars in it. I don't know. The context of the game is not the most important. Alright, so you need a green. You need a blue. White. Red. 
So we have RGB and, and then a white. Split, 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 linear. I would think what we want to do is we want to split every single one of these beams between its goal and that white, if we can. Let's see. So maybe we'll put you here? We'll see. As the other ones adapt. So you are symmetrical, I believe. More or less. That's two down. Now you are probably the harder one. Fully. It's close. I can probably adjust this just enough. There we go. White beam. Haha. <laughs> Bridge. 22. Oh, we haven't seen this for a while. And by a while, I mean never. It was once. Green, blue, green, teal. I don't know why that is conveyed that way. <laughs> green. Okay, so they all show up in the color that you're glowing on to them at the moment, so you can't... Uh, so you just have to memorize them, I guess? Green, blue, green, teal. Hmm. Just a weird puzzle mechanic to be like, hey, do you remember? Do you do you remember what the colors were? You fucked it up. Try again now that you know the answer. And then like you'll it just seems like a slightly weird feature. Green, blue, green, teal. So I need this be a beam to go between these two with the blue. Da 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 da. But also, there's more puzzle, I guess, because I have three more cubes and there's a red laser back here. Bleh. Ta da! I don't know what these two are for. Get out of my face! Get out of my sight! Please don't break the puzzle. I, I'm, I've thrown you indiscriminately, and that is dangerous. This is probably the easiest game in this series so far. I definitely got a lot more stuck in the first two. Whereas the most stuck I've been so far in this game was the time I couldn't figure out the light bridges existed. <laughs> Speaking of which... Hit! Oh, this is ones that go this way. <laughs> Unnecessary on my part. Don't see anything down there. We have a two and a three. Two reds. Two yellows. Hmm. Let's center it.
Nope. I tried. <laughs> I can make work. I can make work good happen. Nah, I should do this. And then when I'm here... Bleh. Oh, physics, no. Why physics? Specifically video game physics, which does whatever the fuck it wants. Uh, okay, you can, you can click while you're in this mode. Uh, is problem. Is minor problem. Will you be fine? Yeah, they both fell. Cool. Hup. Hup. No. That was a bad idea in general. Uh, unless I can make it like now. Good. Haha. -ha. Anyway, I want that one to do this. And jump over it cleanly. And then, trying to do this. I really wish I could rotate this. I know what I want, I just can't physically face the right direction in this space. It just needs to be right there, but I can't. Because it always faces this direction. And R doesn't rotate. R does, R does rotate somewhere. I'm not sure where. No, I don't think it worked. Oh, it's so close. I think I can make this work by pushing it. Don't move. No. Well, that's just incredibly far off now. <gasps> ah! <laughs> I think I, I think I bumped that when I went by it, and it slightly realigned to make that doable at that angle. I'm sure there was a smarter way because it felt like I was trying to fight the level design to do it, so it was probably a slight moderate, uh, slight modification that fixes it, but don't need to learn that now. <laughs> Got a lot of bridges around here. Bzzz. That's where I came from, isn't it? I think. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Three teals, two yellows. Huh. And bridges abound. Ah. There we go. Okay. I have a three-way splitter, a oh, two-way, and redirect. Hmm. Wow. Just felt my computer and it's like genuinely hot. I think I'm gonna solve this puzzle and then close this game for the day. Uh, or let's just... Uh, 
Can I calm you down? That changed the appearance, didn't it? Wow. Which thing did that? Oh, the aliasing turning down probably did that. Yeah, can I, uh, calm you down? Because you're like... My computer's actually really hot right now. V-Sync, I think, might force 60 frames per second. Let the aliasing be high, at least. Uh, resolution scaling. Turn that down. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not a good look. I can, f I can feel the heat coming off my computer, so I'm like, can I... Can I calm you down, game? I don't know what you're doing, but you're overdoing it. Decorative lights off? Oh, you can turn the decorative off lights off that are distracting additional light sources, huh? I think that is the idea. Huh. All right, so that did it. That did lead to an effect. Uh, I, I took my headphones off for a second there. I uh, I see. I can't hear my computer fan anymore. So I think I think I just drastically changed the demand. Frame capping it might have helped. Hmm. The game looks so different now. <laughs> Can I do resolution scaling back up? Just so it doesn't look weird. There's a lot of- there's a lot of, of jittering now, though. Hmm. I wonder how much of an effect post-processing has. Honestly, post-processing kind of seems like it might just be more distracting than some of the other options. Boy, does this look different now, though, doesn't it? Huh. I don't know much about game design, but something might be... Is it unoptimized, or something might be uncapped, or something? My computer felt hot enough that I actually kind of worried a little bit. So I'm gonna probably play forward with things turned down a bit. There we go. That is a cl a pro an approximation of where we were co contrast-wise before the change, I think. <clears throat> Alright, all that matters is the puzzle, so let's just focus on that. And just have slightly changed visuals now. Okay. So... Yeah, green and red are overlapping. Perfectly right there. <laughs> I forgot. I, I will say right off the bat that I don't think I'm gonna like this level very much just because of this mechanic. It's kind of annoying to navigate this level on foot. Okay. I need to figure out where I want all of them to go, but also I can only have one bridge on at a time? Makes things weird. I guess I'm supposed to move to this bridge now. If I move to this bridge, I can then position things just right. Hmm. Well, when it... One of these is at a height for this. Let's see. Hard to tell. I think the yellow might be at the right. Okay, I, actually you can tell based on the framing, right? So like, there's that line. It goes all the way around the wall to the yellows. So I think this platform is level with the yellows. So we're gonna, so the teals are gonna wanna be aligned down there. Oh, and the blue light's here. So, yeah, the three-way splitter for the teals is going to be right here. Might even be able to line this up from here. Has to be lined up with one on the center. And the two have to be there. That's where the dots need to line up, more or less. Okay. That might work.
Red will be slightly harder, I would say. So... I can redirect them from there, but these other colors... Like the red has to go to there somehow or something. trying to do this all in one go because if I move any of these bridges the whole thing starts over which is a bit frustrating it's on its own in its own way uh let's see here I haven't done this yet oh there is no save okay there was a save feature in the previous two games in their separate engine or whatever and if you manually save then you can uh in those kinds of situations you don't have to worry about this like you have you have actual save states so i could make a save up here and if something doesn't work i could just load it but that's gone apparently okay so in my head i'm thinking we want to split from back here to those two locations and we want to cube here redirecting both of them to there to make it the split happen correctly but how am i going to do that if i can't have a platform Hang on. Oh. Ah. Ah. Ah, you can have two bridges. I just wasted so much time trying to figure out how to solve this with one bridge. And that's the reason why the last puzzle felt like it was weirdly awkward in its design. Because I was supposed to use two bridges for that one also. Uh... <laughs> My god. <laughs> Has the game ever explained that this exists? Is what I'm trying to think of. Did the game ever explain the light bridge mechanic at all? Yeah, it's like, don't get cut in half by the shield bridge is I think the only thing that's mentioned. Was there ever... I can't remember if there was ever a tutorial for this mechanic. But I do... So, before somebody says it, yes. There has been one past moment where I would have noted... Where I did notice for a moment that this would work this way but forgot. Which is that a while ago when I was customizing my 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 controls, activate shield bridge orange left blue right. So that. Hang on a minute. Are these switched? I think they're switched. I'll test it in the next room because I don't want to unsolve this room, but. God, it was, so once again, it was actually a really easy puzzle. My two ti biggest times being stuck so far are me not understanding the light bridges when they send them to me. And then, like, I don't understand the mechanics. First time I didn't know what they looked like. Second time I didn't realize that there was left and right click. And those were the, t the longest I've been stuck all game. What is this? Meh. Okay. That's probably... I'm supposed to light them all up without stepping on any of them twice. It's a familiar enough mechanic. And I think there's an outline here that says don't step on these outlines. So you have to leave... you have to enter and exit there. Okay. Hmm. This is a weird inclusion. A little bit. Just because it, it, it qualifies... It's not common enough that I have a name for it, but it qualifies kind of as being one of those elder puzzles that I that I bring up every now and then. Like the Towers of Hanoi, uh, the Three Buckets of Water, Lights Out, Pipe Dream. Like, this is uh, not a particularly original puzzle st design. I guess laser puzzles aren't the most crazy one either. It's just laser puzzles have so much range of what you can do with them that it's kind of acceptable that you're using the concept of laser puzzles, which is so widely used, 
because your particular game can have its own particular style of puzzles that use the laser puzzles. But this is like a sliding tile puzzle, or Towers of Hanoi, where it's really straightforward and has a really specific system, and once you know how to do it, then you kind of know them forever. Like, every laser puzzle I have to individually figure out how to solve, but that type of puzzle I don't necessarily have to solve in, an, in an, that much of an individual basis, because I kind of know how they work. And once you know how they work, it's over. Your current progress. Thanks for your creative solutions. We already could collect a large number of... Uh, thanks to your creative solutions, we already could collect a large m amount of valid results and data. Please proceed through the next area. Close. Is there like a level select? Load. Ah. Dare I go back? Boop. I'm gonna regret this if, uh... If this doesn't work the way I think it does. Load. Okay, cool. All the future levels are still there. Alright, let's go play the other path. We're going all the way back to, to, to five. Uh, do I want to go... Where do I want to go? Wow. This was a while ago. Okay. Yeah, this was a while ago. So I want to go back and solve red now. Oh, the whole level has to be resolved. Okay. That this mechanic is underused, isn't it? I think so. This particular mechanic of these cubes that go through walls hasn't shown up that oopsie. It showed up early on, but not really much. It's been largely under underserved. The inclusion of the walk on these tiles puzzles weird just because it doesn't match the flow of any of the game up to that point. It's like, hey, here's a new mechanic completely out of nowhere. But it doesn't complement the other mechanics, I don't think. I don't know, we'll see if they can come up with something. Oh, it's up there, okay. I forgot. I forgot where they put the actual thing that you put the solution into. This was so long ago. This is like a tutorial on the m mechanic for throwing to some extent. There we go. Now we're picking red. And if things go went according to plan. Ah, left and right click to place shield bridge. Is this the tutorial? Is this where they put it? First of all, load. Yay! I didn't lose any progress. It's all there. So let's go play the alternate levels. Is this where they put the tutorial for the shield bridge though? Is in the red room at the beginning? I genuinely can't remember if I ever saw a shield bridge tutorial in this game until just now, where it's saying left and right click. Because I did that way first, and that way doesn't have any shield bridges. That's just a normal laser puzzle, whereas here we're getting a shield bridge super early in the game, by comparison. And now I know that this works. So hang on. Oh yeah, and this is wrong. Left click, right click. Left click is blue, right click is orange. Left click is orange, right click is blue. It says right right click blue. Right click, right click, right click, right click. Yeah. It's a really minor thing, but yeah, the uh the the settings menu about how to the light bridges work is lie is it's wrong. It's it doesn't really matter at all because you're going to set them to two things and then just press those two things and you'll quickly self-correct in your brain when you when it happens but yeah the uh the menu just has them mislabeled whoops uh ken has laser please there we go these should be pretty brief puzzles probably at this point 
Security advice too, when using a shield bridge. Yeah, this is repeating the joke about don't die, bro. 